Hey, good morning. Welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian of Bansi on today's daf is Dara Membez. The Mishnah on Membez of Manalaf says, Amudra Anami Chaver, Lutne Shri, is Eno Yorotos Adeu, Beino Chomen Anotos. You forbade your friend from going into your field. It was before Shvius. He has no right to go into your field. And he has no right to eat the fruit. It's your fruit. It's your field. But with Shvius, Eno Yorotos Adeu, but Ocho Chomen Anotos, he has If you took the Nether on Shvius, so you still can't go into the guy's field. You could eat the fruits that are extending and protruding outside the field. However, you can't go into the guy's field because the person still owns his field, the ground he owns during Shemitah. He just, the fruits, the Torah was mocked here. So it comes out according to the Mishnah that when taking take a there, right, that he can't get Hanah from my field, he can't even walk in there. Unfortunately, he can't walk in there. Even Shvius, where I don't own the fruits, he still can't walk in there. The Gemara asks, we'll see, the Gemara asks, presumably, the Torah allowed you to go in on Shvius to get the fruits and leave. Um, why can't he do that? Before we get to that, even before Shvius, when you take a nether, that he shouldn't benefit from your property, um, the fact you're not allowed to go into his land seems to be only the Shita of Rebbe Lezer. We had a machlok at the beginning of the parak in Rebbe Lezer, and the Cham is Vitor Asr Mudar No, which is related to Drisa Regal. Drisa Regal is trespassing or taking a shortcut through someone's yard. So according, only according to Belezer, we said that's us, that's included in your net there. It's Vitor, right? It's the right. You can, probably don't normally charge for the right to trespass through someone's yard. It's something that people, a gratuity that people and neighbors usually do to each other. So it's something that's not chargeable. There's no fee for it. So it's not considered a financial benefit. That's Belezer. That's the abundance of it. Belezer says Vitor is considered Asr of Muda. Now we've explained why he holds that way. Um, so a lot of Rishonim say that our Mishnah is according to Blazer, who we have in the Paskin, like Vitor is a servant of Mudra, no? I'm still bothered because the Mishnah does not record the Machlokas. You want to say, oh, they recorded at the beginning of the Perak and here with the Gemara at the stomach of the Mastisa and is going to Blazer? You could say that. But I'd like to say that it's different. And we pointed this out also when it comes to the Mavak or Achola. This is the same question that Rishonim asked over there. Also, Mavak or Achola, there's no record of a Machlokas in Blazer and the Chamim going into someone's house is also why it's trespass against Vitor, should only be a coin of Lezer. The answer is, is because there's a fundamental difference between taking a shortcut through someone's yard and going to their house. When you go into someone's house, you get the shade of the house. If it's sunny outside, you get the air conditioning inside. If it's raining outside, you get, you know, the shelter from the rain. So, snowing outside, it's not so good. It's freezing outside. You know, there's shelter, you know, it, he has the air conditioning on, he has the heat on. Just shelter of a roof, so the rain doesn't fall on your head. That is considered a no, according to everybody. That's a physical no. It's a physical no. Maybe it's not a financial no. Maybe he lets people go into his house. Maybe it's a vitor. It's a gratuity. However, nonetheless, it's a physical no. You're benefiting physically. We talked about the difference between a financial and a physical no. When your mother and Michael, that's only asking in the no, the the physical no. But when you ask her a regular nether no, which we said is from a korban, that even the financial is included. But of course, physical benefits are included also. So. Everything's included in a nether when you say konam, when you say when you connect it to a korban, financial and benefit. Another man in Michael is only benefit. The Ron would say when you just say a regular nether without static to the korban, it would only be a physical benefit. We talked about that. So I would like to say the same thing over here. When you go in someone's field, we're talking about a field with the fruit trees over here, because he's getting fruits over here. And usually fruit trees have a lot of leaves. And even though um it's not exactly the protection of a house. There is nice shade sitting under a tree and having the protection of trees. And when you have the protection of trees, so therefore you're getting the shade of the trees and protection from possible rain when you go into someone's field. So therefore, even though Rabbana would say it's a physical hana over here, it's not a case of vitor, right? It's actually uh, a physical hana. Vitor is something which is not a physical hana. Taking a shortcut to someone's yard is not really a physical hana. It's a financial fee, a service that he's letting you do for free, so you can't charge for it, so it's a question of Vitor. But here there's a physical enough that you're getting benefiting from the shade and the protection of the trees. So that's why the Rabbanan would agree over here uh, that it would be us and only to go into the guy's field. Now the Gemara on Menbez and Menbez uh, asks the, fo the following question. The Gemara says on Shvius, you're not allowed to go into the guy's field. However, if fruit trees are extending outside the field, you're allowed to eat it. So the Gemara asks one other question. Obviously, when the Torah says on Shavias, you're allowed, is mafka the guy's fruits. 
the only way to get the guy's was usually is to go into the guy's field. So the Torah had to allow you to go into the guy's field to get the fruit. So if you can take the fruits, why only the fruits that are protruding outside, where the, the branches are extending outside the field, you should even be allowed to go into the field and take fruits. So the Gemara has two answers to this question. The first answer the Gemara says, Amar Ula, but Omnin Alilanus Halagvulim. Ula says, we're talking about where the fruit trees, there are fruit trees. This is a simple explanation that we're showing them give. There are fruit trees that are on the outside, that are extending outside. So why do you have to go inside if you can take lunch from the outside? Shemal Yaakov is a different answer. No. Gzeir Shemayisha Amida. Technically, there's an allowance to go, even if there are fruit trees on the outside, extending outward. But the Torah allowed you to go inside. However, you might stay there extra time that you don't need and get shade from the trees. So that's why there are bana, it's the gzeir, there are bana, not me, there are there are bana you can't go in because you might stay longer and get benefit um, after you already took the fruit. The Torah doesn't allow you to stay there for as long as you want. It's, after all, it's his land. The person who owns it, it's his land, but the Torah allows you to go in and take the fruit, so you might stay there too long and get benefit by the shade, which we talked about. So Ula's answer doesn't seem to make so much sense because until now we've always been talking about a case where you have these trees on the outside. Ula's machadish now that we're talking. That's what the whole need of this we're talking the this sugi we're talking about specifically where he has trees that are extending outward. So and also just because he has trees on the outside, maybe the trees inside taste better. So the Torah allows you with mafia all the fruits, right? Why do we say because he has fruits extending outside? Maybe the ones inside there are, are tastier, they're juicier, and they're all half care. So why can't I go inside and take it? So I'd like to offer a different explanation of Ula's. Uh, what does Ula mean over here? Ula says, but only Ilanos Halakvulim. He says over here that the reason that you're not allowed to go in is because in order to get there, right, there's Ilanos that don't produce fruit on the on the boundary, on the borders, right? The Torah allows you to go to a fruit tree and pick the fruit. Because simultaneously, when you're going and picking the fruit, you're getting shade and protection from the trees. So the Torah must have allowed you. To get the fruit, it was mafkir the fruit. So while you're doing it at the same time, so you're benefiting from the shade of the tree, but you're also taking the fruit. It's okay. However, if on the boundaries of the field there's trees without fruits that provide shade, in order to get to the fruits inside, to the to the fruits out of the inside, so I have to go underneath trees and get shelter from trees where I'm not getting benefit from the fruits. So that in a, a situation like that, that's what he's talking. About, a circumstance like that. Where the Ilanas are only not and you're going to get sh- shade without getting the fruits, and I have to go through that shade to get to the middle of the field where I have the fruit trees. Then, unfortunately, you're not allowed to do that because I can only Torah is only mafker to take the to get to take the fruits, and while I'm taking them, I can get I can get shade. But to get shade first, and then to go to the fruit trees, that would be a problem. That's what I think the correct explanation is. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.